Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I brought a I have brought a new feature of Excel for you which is the depreciation formula. How to calculate depreciation. Uh, so for example, uh, I have taken an example of purchase price, the salvage value, the life in years. Say I bought a car for say $5,000 and they say that in the government people they say that every year your vehicle or has to uh, depreciates in value well how I know that well well recently I bought a car last year actually and I just got the insurance renewed and those people told me your vehicle has depreciated by 15 percent I said I never knew that uh, the bank is still charging me the same EMI so the there is no change in the EMI they should give me depreciation over there also <laughs> well that is when I decided to find out how to how the depreciation works and my accountant told me some 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 information regarding this well I also then checked out how the ba banks actually calculate your EMIs or what portion of your EMI is your interest for that loan and I, I created a formula uh, f a video for that it is called IPMT IPMT let me type it for you IPMT a wonderful formula wonderful video do watch it okay now to say the salvage value is the value that you would like the vehicle to have after a specific number of years say let's define the number of years first say after five years the value of the vehicle should only be say one thousand dollars so this we have to predefine now we, we can find out what is the depreciation for year one two three four and five so how do we do that well we start with an is equal to sign type db what does it say returns the depreciation of an asset for a specified period using the fixed declining balance method and now it's asking for a cost so this is the cost comma salvage value this is the salvage value which is equal to the value you would like to have of the vehicle or of the property or of whatever at the end of the loan period and the loan pe or, or of the life and this is the life I mentioned comma now it's asking for period period that is which year so this year if you want to have months also you can simply multiply it by 12 and now close the bracket and say enter so this is the depreciation for year one we can now drag this formula down to know the depreciation for other years also well uh, how do we do that if we drag it simply well it will give us a wrong result why because when we drag it down the columns and the references also change automatically so we have to fix the references how do we do that and we do that by using a dollar sign we press F2 to open the edit option now D6 D6 is the purchase value so you fix it by pressing F4 and then D7 again as a salvage value you also again press it by fix it by F4 and then you have to fix the life but we will not like to fix the period because we want it to move we want it to be variable as we uh, uh, copy the formula down we want B to move to B to B11 to be B12 B13 B14 and B15 so that is where we press enter now we copy it control V and see b12 b13 b14 b15 this is the total depreciation value we wanted it to be 4000 that's the difference between 5000 and 1000 and it has given an approximate of 3998.48 well this was the depreciation formula for you i hope you like it and you can also go to facebook and like me over there i you can find me by the name excel made easy over there hope you like this formula well, then this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.